We'd like to start by acknowledging the land on which this event takes place for thousands of years. It has been the traditional land of the Huron-Wendat, the Seneca, and most recently, the Mississaugas of the Credit River. Today, this meeting place is still home to many indigenous people from across Turtle Island, and we're grateful to have the opportunity to meet, work, in this space. Thanks. I'd like to call upon Dr. Franco Vaccarino, President of the University of Guelph, co-chair of the eCampus Ontario Board, to offer some welcome words. Franco. Well, thank you very much, uh, David, and let me take this opportunity as well to welcome everyone uh, to the fourth annual eCampus Ontario Technology Enabled Seminar and Showcase. I have to say that every year uh, this, this uh, event strikes me as how significant it, it is that we have representatives from across Ontario, but also from both the college and the university uh, sector here in attendance. And why that's important, uh, certainly in my mind, is that it reminds us of that common purpose that we share in that regard. And it's not, uh, it's not all the time that colleges and universities uh, you know, have that common platform, but this is a fantastic example of exactly that. It's also a rare opportunity, and we should, uh, we should celebrate it. We're all here, of course, to share um, in each other's work, and eCampus empowers us. It empowers us as educators, as researchers, by giving us the space to think about teaching and learning in new ways. And that really is that common purpose. It's about um, teaching and learning uh, in new ways. Since it was formed in, in 2015, eCampus Ontario has been a catalyst for member-driven, member-driven change in the post-secondary sector. And this year is no, is no different. In the face of change, uh, change isn't new, but I would suggest that the pace of change and the cycle time of change is unprecedented. Uh, we live in times of very, very rapid change. And so in the face of that change and that pace of change, we support our members to adapt to our new and emerging uh, realities. And that adaptation is so important as we continue to push at the edge of what is possible with online and technology-enabled um, teaching and learning. Now, this year, I would say, has, um, has challenged us to take a more, a more focused uh, approach to deliver dynamic programming with member, with member needs at the core, at the center of that. The engagement, the interest, and support we receive from our members, I have to say, is actually absolutely astounding. It's, 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 uh, it's amazing the support we get. And I want to take a moment to thank all of you on behalf of the Board of Directors and the staff of eCampus Ontario as we continue to, uh, to grow uh, and evolve together. Like I said, we, we, this, um, the, the community here is incredibly strong and the support um, uh, is, is amazing. I'd also like to take this opportunity, if you could join me um, in... Um, recognizing the uh, absolutely uh, top-notch, first-rate work of uh, David Porter, who uh, uh, at the helm here, and the entire eCampus uh, Ontario team, who does a, a fantastic job at this conference, day in and day out, and particularly, I would say, in these times of, of rapid change, as, a, as, as such a, a high premium is placed on adaptation and um, you know, quick, uh, quick to respond. So thanks uh, to you, David, and the entire team. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, enjoy the test conference. It really is a unique opportunity. Soak it all in, learn from each other, bring those ideas back to your respective institutions. And I look forward to these uh, next few days as we look to one another for inspiration and as we celebrate our collective success. Thank you very much. <laughs>